What's going on guys? It is vlog number two. Uh, it's second week of the vlog. Vlog two, one, one, two. Uh, so this week, uh, all our intros for the vlog is gonna be after kind of the week happens. So that way I can kind of give you kind of like a table of contents of what to expect in the vlog. Uh, so this week I went to the wholesaler. So you're gonna see clips of that. Uh, we, what did we do? Oh, we set up uh, our little display tank. It's a little 15 gallon uh, all in one system. It's actually a really cool tank. It comes with a light, a protein skimmer, which is very rare to see in an all in one nano tank. Um, so you're gonna see us, we're actually gonna build the stand. So this shop used to be a furniture store. So when we bought it, uh, or started renting it out, there was just old cabinets left everywhere. So I was like, that's a perfect aquarium stand for a little tank. So you're gonna see us put together that, put some braces in there. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. What's up guys? Uh, it's currently 6.30 in the morning. Um, I'm on my way to Plant City, Florida to head to ACI Aquaculture. Uh, it's a wholesaler there we handpick fish coral we get our rock there um, I like hand picking stuff Ooh. I like hand picking stuff because I can see the quality of the fish you know as a, as a smaller store we don't always necessarily get the, the wholesalers best stuff um, which is kind of unfortunate but a lot of times we do end up with not the healthiest of fish um, that's why like we have DOAs and that's why we have fish that die the next day. Um, most fish we still do order in because um, the, the wholesaler usually doesn't have like some crazy cool like new different stuff. Um, but they always have really good quality of like copper bands, pipe fish, like fish that notoriously don't usually ship well um, or are, are more on the finicky side. So that's really what I'm heading there to do is to get those more finicky fish like mandarins as well um, just so I can see them in person and see the quality of them um, so yeah I will uh, I'll try to film as much as I can when I get there it's I'm not really sure how they're gonna react to that um, but I'm sure I'll sneak so I get a couple of videos or whatever um, but I'll see you guys there What's going on guys? Oh, that was a long drive. It took me an hour and a half-ish. I think I'm, I'm either here first or second. Oh, I'm not really sure. It's first come first serve. So it's whoever gets here first, gets to walk through the door, door first and then kind of, it's kind of a free for all. It's kind of fun. It's a lot of fun actually. Um, Basically, you go in there, they have, so usually we get corals too, but Eric, like, we didn't see anything coral-wise that we really necessarily needed or wanted. Um, but basically, they have nets at each of the end of the aisle. I'll show you all this inside. Um, grab a net, grab a bucket, you just, like, tell them what color bucket and for which store. Um, oh, I'm actually here first. They work here. Um, and then you just kind of fill the bucket with water, go grab a net, grab a fish, put the fish in the bucket, put the bucket on the counter and go back and do it again. Um, so yeah, I'm here first, so I get first picks, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm here really early. Like I still got like probably 24 minutes before I gotta, before they even open. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of show you guys inside a little bit and it's pretty cool. All right, see ya.
got to film a little bit in there. Like you'll see a little clip that's in there, but I, I'm just leaving now and I, I just have so much fun in there. Like it, you just get a net and you grab whatever you want. Um, and I honestly, I could have grabbed more cause I was way under budget, but like we only have so much room at the shop and you know, I, I kind of grabbed everything that I was really there for. Um, but I have a car full of boxes. I have like 180 pounds of live rock. Who knows how many fish. Um, it's not, it, the fish aren't anything crazy. Like a lot of them are like danzels or clownfish or copper band butter. Like stuff that I said, like we kind of sell pretty fast because it's the common stuff. Um, I did get uh, Ventrellus Antheus. I got three of them. They're so cool looking. Uh, if you haven't seen them, you'll see them at the shop. Um, hit me. So when I get back to the shop, I'll show you guys everything acclimating, you know, similar to, you know, when we get like a shipment in. Um, but you know, time for an hour and a half back to the shop. <laughs> So we just got back to the store. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, it's only an hour and a half drive. So we're gonna start putting stuff into acclimation bins and then I'll show you guys a little more what's all going on. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, we got a decent amount. It's probably like 100, 150 fish here. So we'll see what happens. All right. We got everything into the buckets. Um, it's just a lot of little fish, really, like the basic stuff again, like clownfish, firefish, danzels, uh, really nice powder blue. Um, those are the ventrilis, uh, Antheus. When they get in the tanks, you'll see them better. Um, giant mandarins. Uh, so once everything's in the tank, I'll, I'll show you guys it a little more. So finally got everyone into the tanks. We got a nice yellow tang. Uh, where else? A bunch of Ocellaris, another yellow tang. Um, those are the Ventrilis Ampheus. Beautiful. Big copper band, Tamini tang. Bang Eye Cardinals, another big beautiful copper band. Bunch of fired fish. Now we just watch for aggression. Yeah, now we just gotta watch to see who's fighting. We gotta oh. separate them. We gotta separate those guys. Little tangs. <laughs> um, Ruby Red Dragon Net. Diamond Gobies. Uh, Yellow Watchman. Little six line. So again, nothing crazy. Oh, massive Mandarin. But again, nothing crazy. Uh, Cause you know, it's wholesale. You know, we wanted to go pick for the health, not so much like the bizarre or weird stuff. Uh, it was more just what we sell on the daily basis, making sure that when we sell it, we can have the confidence in it. Um, so yeah, that, that's about it for, uh, for this uh, wholesale little adventure. So a little idea that I had was to have a just progression time lapse sort of of GSP. So I glued some see to the back of this RAS tank in our invert system. And just every once in a while I'll update you guys, you know, maybe each video or every once in a while I'll have like a little freeze frame of it so you can see the week by week progression of how fast it grows. So because a lot of people they buy GSP and they don't really know that when I say it grows fast, like it's it's a weed, like it takes over your tank very fast. So this is a way so you can see and get more informed of the actual time it actually takes to grow. So I'm gonna put a little snapshot every once in a while right here. 
and you'll be able to see, you know, just still frame of each week or whenever I post it of the progression of the GSP. I'm so bored. You know, every fish store needs a display tank. You know, I'm gonna take that boredom and I'm gonna make a display tank. We have a bunch of cabinets in the back. You can make a stand real easily. We have an all-in-one system. Let's let's make the store display tank. Yeah, so I, I, I got bored, so, you know, I. I hate being bored. One thing I've, as I've gotten old, as a kid, all right, I'm still a kid, I know, but like when I was much younger, if I got bored, I'd just be on my phone, I would just waste the day away. But now that I'm bored, I just, I, I just need to be productive. So I need to be building something, creating something, doing something. So we have a bunch of wood back here. We have cabinets and let's build a stand. Let's make a display tank. This piece will do nice for the stand. We have a bunch of old cabinets. This place used to be a furniture store, so when we bought it, there was a bunch of old cabinets. So, we take some wood, put it on top. We have an all-in-one tank. Let's make a display tank. Is that pretty good? It's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Good, good angle, yeah. 90 degrees. Yeah. All right, good deal. Why is it short? So we're building a stand. We're actually reinforcing a stand. That's why Jed cut the. There you go. You can go ahead and trim that as well. Yeah. Perfect, right there. We're building a, um, a makeshift stand. Yeah. We're going to reinforce it so it transfers the load evenly. So if you're wondering who that voice in the background is, that's Randy. Randy's one of the guys that works here. Um, unfortunately, Randy's having, or, weird way to say it. Unfortunately, Randy's leaving us because fortunately he's having a, his first son. So uh, I'll let Randy introduce himself. Hey Randy, introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right guys, so just finished cutting the support beams. Now we're gonna drill them into place. Uh, we, got it, we got the sizing down right. So we're gonna go with just one steady beam in the middle, you know, take more weight off. It's a small tank, so it's not gonna be too much weight, but we just wanna be sure. So we're gonna pre-drill right now, uh, screw it in, and we'll show you after. For the aquarium is that you walk in and bam, oh, it's raining, but it's gonna be right there. Um, so yeah, that's the idea for it. I think it's a pretty good idea. It's gonna be a great location. Our windows are pretty tinted, so we don't have really anything to worry about. So I think it'll be a good, good spot for it. I was gonna say carry it, but I use technology to work for our benefit. How about that? Yeah, that works too. All right, guys, we got the tank on the stand. Stand is in place. I know what you're thinking. Wow, there's just plywood around the around the tank. I have a friend who's a really dope artist. She's gonna come and actually paint the design around the tank, um, and it'll be aquarium themed, obviously. Uh, so it's gonna look really cool. Uh, next update. Bam. So we got the rock in. Sands in. We went black sand because it's gonna be super cool. Black sand with red rock as a display. Um, it's a nice little tank. It's by Redline. Uh, it comes with a little protein skimmer, the light. You know, it has a lot included. Uh, it's unfortunately it's just a switch light, so it's gonna have whites with blue and green, then just blue. So, but it's a nice little tank. So let the cycle begin. All 
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the vlog this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna talk a lot about the nitrogen cycle next week in the vlog as the tank is cycling. Um, just so you guys know the significance and the meaning behind ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, what it means for your tank. Um, so that way when you get into the hobby, you're not going in blind or if you're trying to understand stuff and learn stuff a little more, like we will help you. That is why, that is another reason we're starting this vlog, not to just show you what happens. Like we want to educate you and so that you can take care of your tanks to the best of your ability. So comment, rate, subscribe, get those post notifications on so you can see like when we go to the wholesaler or when we get a shipment, you can immediately see what we got or on Frag Fridays, you can see what's going to be on the WYSIWYG section and you can get those specific frags. So subscribe guys, again, 10% off in the store if you subscribe. So uh, see you guys.